All right, we're here in the S10. We're about to put the new Cadence speakers in, the new eights down there, the new four by sixes in the dashboard over there. All right, let's start by taking out this fucking beat up eight inch piece of shit speaker. I mean, it actually sounded pretty good in the truck, but I can't be having shit like this. Know what I'm saying, guys? All right, so I got the eight out and I'm starting to learn how they fucking wired this piece of shit. They got a crossover inside the door, it's an MTX crossover. Um, something's wrong with the crossover, I don't have any power coming out for the tweeter here. Um, plus this is a Polk tweeter, and this is a Eminence 8, Alpha 8, so that's what was in. All right, guys, we are here in John Manchester's new S10, and uh, we, we just got a couple of 8-inch mid-bass drivers in um, to replace the ones that were in there. So I went ahead and ordered them some uh, some new Cadence Zenith, and they just they look amazing. We've only got one in so far, and they just sound absolutely amazing. And this is what we're working with. This is what was in there before, and they I don't even know what brand these are, but... They're blown and they just do not sound good. We got some tweeters in the door, um, some Polk audio tweeters that, that apparently don't you know don't work either. But uh, we also got some uh, four by sixes to go up here to replace these. And these are also Cadence. Focus. The CS two four six components two way. And these Zenith 8-inch drivers um, just have the most massive tweeter on them. What's your first impression, John? So far, I'm loving it, man. I couldn't ask for a better brand. You know, I had a lot of uh, ups and downs with the Tahoe, with Selenium's, Audio oh, yeah. Q, and all that stuff. So Hopefully this one's a winner, right? So far, so good. They look a lot better. They got grills on it. I don't get to worry about them getting kicked as these. You can see they're clearly dented and stuff, you know? So these speakers have been getting kicked around and shit like that, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, that's and, what we're working with. That's what's in there. But it was uh, nice of the previous owner to cut out uh, <laughs> cut out an 8-inch <laughs> hole for us. <laughs> Makes our life a little bit easier. How's the wiring look in there? The Can wiring, I... I mean, other, they got a uh, crossover double-sided sticky tape. Yank that, that gonna... fucker out. Does this thing zoom? Yeah, you gotta zoom. This one's on there pretty good. The other <laughs> Go. one came off easy. Come on, all that working out, that thing should rip <laughs> off. There we go. There it is. There we go. Kind of crossover, guys. Is that a Polk Audio crossover? It's an MTX, so... It's an MTX with Polk Audio <laughs> tweeters. And, uh, they I, call... I, these are called Eminence. Eminence. Uh, Eminence have seen these ones have seen better days. Yeah. Eminence are I mean they sounded pretty good though. For yeah. how, but they're just too ugly for this truck. Yeah. The cadence that I can't believe how much of an improvement those but, cadence make. Yeah, because it's I mean that's only a one way, so Yeah. And then we'll get this crossover ripped out, get the uh new woofers in, get those four by sixes in and see what it sounds like. Alright, we'll check back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I just pulled this out and unearthed uh, this wonderful-looking speaker. Uh, come to find out, bam, it's a Sony Explode. That's what uh, was causing all the noise. So definitely um, a big improvement with the Cadence drivers. I just want to show you guys what it sounds like before we start ripping it apart. So I'm going to start off with some dubstep. It sounds pretty good in here. Oh! 
I'm getting so excited I fucking dropped the camera. All right, so that's what the speakers that came with the truck sounding like so far. Let's get to ripping this thing apart. Make it sound good. So we have all the speakers in the truck now. We got the Cadence 8 in the kick panel, which you really probably can't see too good. Um, yeah, you can see them. There, there we go. Looking sexy. The other ones are in the dashboard, but you're not even going to be able to see those. Or you're just going to see the grill there, but they're in there. And uh, my first impression of everything is it sounds great. Um, that tweeter in the 8 inch helps it out a lot. Um, and it's just, it sounds a lot cleaner. Definitely so. improvement from what it was. So without further ado, we'll uh, show you guys what it sounds like on here. And uh, I mean, the, the mid bass is actually really surprising from yeah. from two. I mean, we still got some messing around to do with the EQ. Yeah. Everything's the flat right now. Everything's factory EQ. Nothing, nothing's custom. Nothing's set. And also, when we get the kick panel pods um, in here, which is the next step, along with tweeters in the door to replace the blown polks that are in there, that's when the audio Q four by ninety is going to come in. We're going to amplify everything. But for right now, it's just off the head unit, just to have. Uh, clean speakers that aren't blown in yet. So I'll start the song over, we'll see what it sounds like, and uh, enjoy the mu clean music. camera but in person I can turn the head unit all the way up which I'm supposedly not supposed to because of clipping issues or whatever but I mean full volume 60 it sounds great and uh, there's no distortion so job well done I think and uh, the only thing I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm just gonna run some uh, wires off the head unit to the speakers up in the dashboard because I'm not happy with the wiring that's in there from the previous owner other than that everything's good to go uh, we're gonna replace these tweeters here on the door Pretty Show soon. Them on this side. Yep. We're gonna get those replaced. Pokes. That's gonna be the next step. We're gonna then do the uh, CVLT 45 series cadence three inch tweets. So we're gonna do those tweets there. Then we're gonna get the Q Logic kick panels. Just like the Tahoe head down there. Plenty of room. We'll we're probably gonna get uh, six inch components with the tweeter, one inch tweeter down there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna fill up that space back there with some bass. Oh yeah. So it's uh it's a step in the right direction. Thanks to my buddy Ben here. He's the one getting me these great deals. And uh, <laughs> without him. I mean, I, I would probably only have enough money for the fucking speakers that are up in the dashboard, if that. I mean, We're trying to change his luck a little bit. Yeah. Trying to get him a system. I'm actually doing his system before I even do mine, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, I, I owe everything to this guy right here. He's the one that's making this video possible right now. L literally. I'm literally holding <laughs> the camera. <laughs> so, once again, thanks everybody for watching and staying tuned throughout all the bullshit. Hopefully everything gets uh, taken care of and we got a good run going for us. Hopefully. All right. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.